this problem, we have uh, an interesting question. What product will result from the hydroboration oxidation of one methyl cyclopentane and deuterated borane, BD3? And we're asked to show both the stereochemistry and the regiochemistry of the product. First, what you want to do is uh, draw out one methyl cyclopentene. So we have cyclo, which means a ring. Pentene means five carbons. Okay. So just add the double bond anywhere. And what you want to do is uh, count the carbons here. Um, I'll just choose to go in a clockwise manner. And attached to the one position, we have a meth group. And uh, what we're doing is the hydroboration oxidation. So normally we use uh, BH3, and uh, here we're going to use BD3. B is deuterium. Or a hydrogen atom with one extra um, neutron in the nucleus. And H is just hydrogen which is normally what we uh, use in chemical reactions. Hydrogen is just um, one of the isotopes of hydrogen with a mass of uh, one, one proton in the nucleus. And we're going to, so we're going to add BD3 or uh, deuterated borane, followed by um, basic hydrogen peroxide to give us products, and we want to think about uh, what happens here, okay? Well, first of all, remember that hydroboration is anti-Markovnikov, okay? So what this means is that in Markovnikov rule, um, the richer get rich. Right, so this carbon right here is rich because it has a hydrogen attached to it, and so normally it gets the hydrogen. Okay, um, in an anti Markovnikov reaction, actually, the other carbon is going to get it. So here, uh, this will get the hydrogen, okay, and this carbon down here is going to get the OH. And that's for an anti-Markovnikov reaction. There are only a couple reactions that are anti-Markovnikov in your organic chemistry uh, class. That's going to be the hydroboration and then HBr and light, okay, with the radicals. So here's the anti-Markovnikov. The hydrogen is going to go up here. The OH is going to go over here, okay? So what we're dealing with is um, uh, deuterium, all right? So actually, we want to add deuterium to the top, okay? So in terms of the um, regiochemistry, or the orientation, let's draw the, the product here. We have CH3 here. Um, the deuterium is going to go on the top carbon. This hydrogen is from the original hydrogen on the molecule. And the OH is going to go here. Okay, so this shows uh, the regiochemistry. Or basically um, the constitutional isomer that's formed. Okay, now we want to embellish this and add some wedges and dashes to indicate how this might occur. Now remember that when the hydroboration occurs, it's a syn addition. Okay, so hydroboration, we've learned, is anti-Markovnikov, but it's also a syn addition. This means that the, the two groups, OH and H, add from the same side. Now, 
this molecule's flat, you can make a model and look at it and hold it in the palm of your hand. It's basically flat. So we could add to the top face. Okay. And if we add a hydrogen uh, deuterium to the top face, that would put this methyl to the back. And the deuterium and the hydroxyl group after oxidation okay, would be on the same face. So deuterium's on a wedge, the hydroxyl group's on a wedge, and this hydrogen would be down. Okay? So this is the molecule that results from the deuterated borine approaching from the top face of the molecule. And if we draw the molecule that would result from the deuterated borine approaching from the reverse side, we would have deuterium becoming incorporated on the bottom or back, and the hydroxyl group coming in the same way. Notice how we have two dashes here, so that's sin or same side. And the methyl group is still attached to the uh, uh, carbon one here. Okay, so the methyl group would be pushed up. The hydrogen that's originally on this molecule at carbon two would be pushed um, up as well. Okay, so the, these uh, two isomers are results of um, approach of the deuterated borane from the top face or the bottom face, and these, these would be the two products, the two stereoisomers that are formed. Okay, so these two products here show the stereochemistry. Okay, so it's a complicated problem, but uh, think about how the uh, top carbon gets the deuterium. Think about top, uh, the facial approach of the deuterated borane. You could have the borane approach from the top face of the molecule or the bottom face of the molecule. So you get two different stereoisomers, but the same regioisomer is formed in any case shown here in green, where the hydroxyl group is on the carbon two and the deuterium is at carbon one. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.